What's up, Fat Kid Nation? We are out here in San Diego. We are back, ready to attack the World Glazed Donut Eating Championships. We're joined by Jane. As you can see, she's not too happy. Uh, we're getting ready to head over to the event, but we're gonna have eight minutes to eat as many glazed donuts as we can. We're joined by Mickey Sudo, Nick Wary, Jay Webby, Freak Eating, Mo Motion. I mean, this field is stacked. And we're ready to attack, so let's see what we can do. Our personal best was last year, second place, 37 donuts. Definitely looking to improve. Let's jump into it. What's up, Fat Kid Nation? Thank you all for joining on this creation. Make sure to hit that like button, as well as the subscribe if you're new to the channel. Welcome to Fat Kid Nation, Heavy D Las Vegas, home of big eats and tasty treats. And let's jump in to the best day all year, National Donut Day. Yes, this is my third time celebrating National Donut Day here in beautiful, sunny San Diego, California. Uh, and I'm at the World Donut Eating Championships, where I have eight minutes to win it to slam, jam, and cram as many glazed donuts as I can. And if you win, you get $1,000. Uh, last year, I came in second with 37, a personal best, and uh, that was good enough for 500. But we have an absolutely stacked field, as you saw. We have Mickey, we have Nick, we have Jay Webby, we have uh, you know Freak Eating, Mo Motion, Kevin Ross. I mean, this field is absolutely packed, stacked, and uh, we got to attack. Although I've never put these donuts on a scale, maybe next year I will bring one and do it after the contest. They say they're about 2.1 ounces, which I find a very weird ounce weight, like 2.1, why not two, why not 2.5? Um, but honestly, they're all fresh made glazed donuts here. Um, and they're actually pretty good. You know, I'm using warm water and then I have warm water with Crystal Light and then some Gatorade to try to break up those flavors. And I really felt like I got off to a good start uh, this is really just a tune-up for my hot dog qualifier that's coming up, getting back into that, like, you know, there's food challenges and there's eating challenges, and then there's, you know, competitive eating. And competitive eating is kind of this different realm. People go, what's the difference? Like, they'll ask me when I'm out and about, and they'll go, you know, give us a shout. What What's the difference between competitive eating and a food challenge to you? And I said, you know, in a food challenge, I can make mistakes, I can do things and recover because I have time to rhyme. You know, it's like at Frankincense when I was with my buddy Shameless. I sat there and took a minute break. Him and I were talking to the staff. We were talking to tons of people. So my 13 minutes, if I had my foot on the gas, probably could have done it in under 10. But I mean, like, it's a challenge. It's, it's a big deal to me, but it's not. When you have this, you know, competitive eating table, the gloves are off and you're battling, there's no different. There's no better feeling. And honestly, that's what that's what the difference is to me is like you can't make room for mistakes. You got to get in that rhythm. If you don't have it, you got to find it fast and hope it lasts. I 
I love a good donut. I don't get to eat them as much as I want to just because I don't know of anything that's a bigger gut bomb calorie diet busting food but honestly pink box has this oh love my pb and j it's got it's stuffed with their own raspberry compote in the middle it's got peanut butter and jelly on top and then some graham crackers absolutely phenomenal so let me know down below what your favorite donut is and we're gonna let you go watch the end of the video tune into the full results let me know if you kind of like this style of ending um, instead of sometimes where it's abrupt where you actually get like a little bit of talking and uh, yeah, you're going to see a collab coming up with Jay Webby, the best eater in Australia. Dude's a phenomenal dude. Really enjoyed hanging out with him. We have a macaroni and cheese burger challenge from San Diego. It's crazy. And I'm crazy. And hope you all have a great week. Appreciate y'all. Stay sick. Stay thick. Peace. to say is too epic for even the greatest music of all. That includes Barbie Girl by Aqua. One of these men came so close to breaking the world record by eating 54 and three quarter donuts in just eight minutes. But I wouldn't do you like that, San Diego. Because one of these men did break the world record and did set a new record and that new record stands at 59 and one half plays make my donuts in just eight minutes. The person who ate 59 and a half won. Okay. Your winner with 59 and one half make my donuts in just eight minutes, the recipient of 1,000 US dollars, the recipient of this fetching belt about to be thrust into his hand by the colonel. James Webb! <laughs> DJ, next track! 59 and one half donuts! In just eight minutes, your new world record holder, ladies and gentlemen, Nick Wary. Gallant and sporting in second place with 53 and three quarters. 